Um, Colombia beats Brazil yesterday and kind of boom has this whole result has big effects on the entire tournament although as we will see it goes back a little bit how it was supposed to be from from the beginning but let's get right to it um, with the win Colombia uh, still in fourth place but substantially increased the chances of winning the tournament while um, Chile sits here, Brazil lost. Uh, they were almost head to head with Argentina. Now Brazil dropped uh, to only 21% chance of winning. And given the performance yesterday, it might even be lower. Uh, most interesting is now if you look at how the groups are projected to um, pan out, and I'll start right with Group C, where now we have three teams sitting with three points. Uh, and uh, Venezuela, Peru still have to play, but still uh, the group looks like it was supposed to look from, from, from the game, but it's very, very, very tight. I mean, uh, Brazil and Colombia only separated by virtue of the fact that Brazil has a higher rating, uh, and although they're playing uh, Venezuela, which is slightly higher rated than Peru, uh, they are ex expected to make a few more points, but basically this is dead even here. Uh, and also, there's now, given that Peru would beat Venezuela, then this would uh, be a group where we have uh, four teams with three points. Uh, all in all, all have three teams with three points at the moment means this is bad news for the other groups. And except for Argentina, which I said already yesterday, is uh, more or less qualified for the next round. All the other teams uh, took a little blow to their qualification chances uh, due to the fact that now third place is a lot harder to get one of the top two third place spots. It's a lot harder to, and it's especially bad news for Mexico with only two points. Uh, yes, they have. Uh, they still will have to play. Uh, I think they play um, Ecuador, which. It's a tough matchup, but they could they could uh, prevail here. But still, uh, sitting only with two points, that hurts your chances uh, quite some. Especially if you make another draw, then uh, you could be potentially in trouble. Same goes for Bolivia, uh, although and Uruguay, although they have, and of course Chile, uh, they have four points. But now um, any one of those two teams, uh, or those three teams, could end up with four points and probably a better goal differential or whatever and lowers of course the chances so that's the big ripples it sent actually to through the tournament and it makes it's actually nice to see at least from a statistician point of view that this kind of broken system where only two third two or three third place teams without having played against each other qualify for the next round every just one game can have major uh, impact on the other hand when we look at the projected playoff tree looks pretty much as like at the beginning of the tournament we have uh, Paraguay qualifying now um, I, th I think it was that I'm not 100% sure if we had Venezuela sitting here or not uh, but never non nonetheless uh, take out the third place teams we have now Colombia and Chile in one uh, part of the bracket we have Argentina Brazil in the other part of the bracket of course there's Uruguay as a big player here too where is this upper half seems a little bit lighter uh, Chile Colombia in the semis Argentina Brazil if it should happen would be in the semis although I think also in Argentina Uruguay uh, matchup would be uh, mouth watering given the um, hostilities between those two. And then uh, projected final is Colombia or Argentina. Argentina is still projected to win it all, but you know it's uh, based on the current, current, current ratings for now. My um, model does not allow um, adjustments in the ratings dur during a tournament. I'm actually, when I get the time uh, to work on that, I would like to do something like that, that there's a little bit of factor. And of course, uh, Chile and Brazil um, play for third place, with Brazil uh, being the higher rated team being projected to win. Well, that was it for today. We have another game, Peru and Venezuela tonight. I think that the result could also make quite some impact, especially if Peru manages to beat Venezuela as they did in the third place um, playoff four years ago. So uh, it could be a very, very exciting group this group C and uh, just waiting for what will happen there. Okay, that's it. Up until my next post.